I'm Melissa from Sogalytics, and in today's Future Focus, I hope I'm going to be able to help you streamline your survey reporting and simplify your life. Sound good, right? Here's something that we see a lot of. When you take a look at the survey that's on my screen, you see it's a May pulse check. It's got a set of questions, probably an employee pulse check, but you can tell right away by the title May at the top. But if I look in this account, there's probably a May, a June, a July, and all kinds of other pulse checks. Interestingly enough, when you open them up, you'll notice that the exact same questions are being asked over and over again, and the only change is the word up here at the top, May, June, July. Guess what? You don't get more points for doing more surveys. You can simplify your life and your reporting by putting everything into an overall survey. So we'd go ahead and open up this one that I have here, and you can see right away there's something obvious in here. The easiest way to simplify your life here is to add a question that's going to allow you to filter or segment in order to be able to know which time period we're talking about. Here, this is a hidden pre-populated question in which you are going to fill it in for your participant and be able to identify the time period. So if it's May and you're sending out the May invitation, you'll know right away. And again, your participant will never see this question. Once this question is filled in, Notice, of course, you could change the title if you want to, if you're gonna send this out month over month. When we come over to the reporting section, we're gonna see that question up there right away. Now, month isn't necessarily something that you need to see in the report, and you can go ahead and modify it and hide it if you need to. But the most important information that we're looking for probably in this report is employee satisfaction, let's say. And so if I have that hidden question in here, I can come in and certainly add a filter to say, show me only, let's say in response to the question month, show me only responses from a particular time period. So if I say, show me only May, for example, then all of the data here is gonna be displayed, just the May data all the way down here. So May looks like it was a pretty good month. The other thing they're able to do here, in addition to filtering, is being able to segment as well. So if you'd like to see those three months overall, you can come down here and say, show me this data broken down by month. So I can come in here and I can apply segmentation. I can look at this data overall, let's say, just by employee satisfaction to simplify it and then use segmentation. In this case, I can choose to see all three months side by side or any combination, quarters, et cetera, and then show me what's the breakdown month over month. So again, May looks like it was a pretty good month. Now, if you're familiar with pre-population, you know there's a question here, probably. Can I do the same thing for anonymous surveys? Of course not, you can't hide a question in an anonymous survey. That's not very fair. But even if you have chosen not to hide a question in here and you're running an anonymous survey, you do have an option to be able to split this data by response period. So in this case, I don't need that question at all. So let's assume that we're just Moving beyond that question, but we'll keep it there as a reminder. Here, what we need to look at is a filter called, no surprise, response period. When I apply this response period filter, I'm going to be able to check the report for data received during a specific time period. In this case, let's say, since it happens to be July, let's say this month. When I apply this filter, I'm going to see, surprise, data just from July. So we've got that reminder here. But again, it tells us below, this is just the data from July. So really helpful, really useful. If you're interested in doing segmentation by response period as well too, you can do the same thing here. It takes another step or two, but you've got that employee satisfaction score in this case, come in here for apply segmentation. In this case, you'll also be able to use a segmentation data set. Here you'll find that response period is one of the segmenting ideas that you can use here, or one of the segmenting options metadata. So here you could apply, show me May, show me June, show me July. So these are a couple different ways to be able to use one data set overall. You can do lots of really cool stuff to be able to filter, to be able to, you can add more and more months to this if you want to use that option as well too. Um, and depending on what kind of uh, report you're running, you might just be able to just take a look at the trend here very quickly as well too. So based on the question type, for example, employee satisfaction score trend. Also, if you are someone who likes to save these reports and send them a scheduled delivery uh, to people on your team, you might be able to see, for example, here's the last month, here's the last month, here's the last month. And if you've set that filter, 
it will always be the last month based on uh, the time period that the people that you are sending it to are going to need to look at. So simplify your surveys. May pulse check becomes the overall pulse check. And if you really want to keep that item at the top, you certainly can. You can certainly, again, just change the title here. Decide, do you want that hidden question? Do you want to keep it anonymous? Either way, you have options to simplify your reporting and hopefully streamline your life a little bit. What do you think? I hope this is useful for you. Let us know what you think. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for joining. Be well.